welcome to day six of the 30 day coding challenge from CS and Math. Uh, over the weekend, we finished up the upper left hand corner of the flag. So if you didn't catch videos four or five and this looks good to you, go ahead and go backtrack and finish that up. Uh, today, we're going to cover something different. So you won't need to know uh, how to do any of that or have that code to be successful. But we're going to talk about, like, what about other stars? You might have been asking about what about six or seven or eight point stars. We're going to look at that and we're going to uh, take a look at module documentation. Like, you might wonder, like, where are these commands coming from? Like, in Scratch, the blocks are all just there. You know what's available and you pull them in. Uh, prompting for user input. How are we going to get, like, how can I enter in information into the program? So we probably should get right into it and get ourselves set up. This is probably good base code to start with. So if I run this, Notice that was the code that just made our star. I'm going to do a couple things. I don't really want the black, so I'm going to do t.color, remember, does a different color. Let's mix it up, do some purple. My daughter's current favorite color. So if I got t.color at purple, I also want the speed faster, t.speed uh, at zero, so it's super fast. And... Um, this is the code that just made a five-point star, right? And that's where we're going to start off today. So just to make sure we're understanding each other, um, this, this, these commands, like forward, for example, and left, they come from a documentation. So if you actually just search Python Turtle documentation in a, just a new tab, click on the first thing, and it will bring you to this basically like a dictionary in your brain, right? This is the documentation of all the available commands. And they're kind of labeled. Notice how it says, here's how you can move and draw. We use several of these, but not all of them. We didn't stamp. Uh, we didn't use necessarily a go-to. <clears throat> so tell Python state, um, drawing state, pen up, pen down we used. But this is the full listing of available commands like blocks right if you've used block based languages notice that trinket also has a question mark here it says view the supported modules click that if you do click that uh, and you scroll through you'll notice that one of the modules available is turtle and you can uh, let's just say we do uh, one way to search it is hold the control button hit F and type in let's say uh, forward one that we've done. If I don't even type it in all the way, it starts to pop up. Notice that it's covered here. Notice that it's covered 32 times. So this one's covered a lot. But you could click through them, try to figure out how that function is working, and uh, then you'll just get a better sense of, okay, what's even available. So take a few minutes today and just explore those um, modules. One thing that I saw in here was that um, they actually included, now this is pretty small on your screen, but do you see how they included, that's how I make the code bigger, by the way, just click those three bars, click these dots. Um, I really like how they included an example, and uh, notice how some things are the same and things, some things are different. They're importing turtle, they're importing a different package called random, one that's a, a definition here, so a function, and then that function is where they create the turtle, and do some pen size things. Notice how they have some for loops. So it's good sometimes just to look at code of other people and also use that in your reasoning process. So if you want to, take some time today to play with that code or copy and paste it into your own uh, Trinket app. Okay, so let's go back to our code that we had. Paste this back in there or get this back up. And then you can say, how do we get user input? Well, to do this, we can do n, let's say, for number of points equals. And we are just going to call it input. Uh, you'll have to put any text in either a single quote or a double quote. And uh, I'm going to type how many points. All right, now notice if I run this, if I click run, the first thing it's going to do down here is prompt and ask for how many points. And that's how you get it. Now, the issue with this is it's going to default to uh, a string. You might be saying, well, what is a string? Because we haven't really covered that. There are different object types in languages. So I googled object types Python, and um, there's numbers and there's strings. Sometimes called, uh, the numbers are sometimes called uh, 
on integers. So if I go here, I can actually, on the outside of this, I want this to be a number. So I'm going to say int for integer of that question. So now my answer for n won't store like a text 5, it'll store as a number. So go ahead and get that set up. So integer, these are all going to be clean numbers. And so we're also going to make this a function. We're going to say the definition of star is going to take in two parameters. Because we've only done one. We've take, let's take in n and let's take in length. And then let's say, um, sorry length the one we did here was equal to 200 so I'll move that over no i'm sorry i forgot to indent this right so this definition would now have a uh, colon at the end of it and then i need to indent all that code over so go ahead and get that set up if you haven't yet so you may recall from what we did before, then if I'm going to take in a number of, of this number n, right, then I'm going to replace the, time, the number of times we loop with n, right? We're going to go forward not 200, but the length that we asked for. The real question is, then what angle are we going to turn? And um, this math is, is something that we probably should just leave for math class since uh, there's a lot we could say here and we only have so much time. But well, one way you could get this, let me just type in a formula with some order of operations in here. 180 degrees is the exterior minus, let's say, 360 degrees divided by twice the number of sides. And you'll have to do 2 times n. The uh, shift 8 is an asterisk. That's the times in Python. So this works for many of the stars. Um, and if we run this now, no, we got to call it, right? So we just defined it, and if we run a call on this, then we can have um, star, call up star. It takes in two parameters, otherwise we'll get an error. Let's say we want that five-point star with length 200 like we had done before. And we run. Oh, it's going to prompt for how many sides. So click down here. You actually have to click, type in five, and hit enter, and notice it will uh, make the star. Because this formula works for that star. Okay, however, if you try six, let's try calling up six. Oh. That's right, so I'm sorry, this will actually just be whatever n is. So if I actually put an n here, I guess that makes sense um, because it's prompting for n, right? And it's going to store that in n. So I'm going to type in, um, let me stop and restart that just to make sure. If I type in six here, notice how that formula doesn't work. Weird. I wonder if it works, um, or, yeah, that was right. And then, so if I run this again, and I type in 7, notice how it works for that. And if I run it again, and I type in 8, notice how it doesn't quite work for 8. Maybe we're seeing a little bit of a pattern here, so what if I type in 9? Ah, it works. So it seems that we actually have a definition of how to do an odd star. So I would challenge you then, in your um, time that you have today, how would you do an even star if you're into math? If you had success with this, uh, that's awesome. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And tomorrow we're going to start an all new challenge outside of stars. Thanks for coming.